You know, speaking of Lord Infamous, it, he he died not too long ago. Yeah. Well, what what was the cause of death? Oh, uh, heart attack in his sleep. Sad. How old was he? Forty. He had just turned forty the month before that. Young. Yeah, young. Yeah. Way too young. Yeah. How, how were you guys affected by it when you heard? It was terrible. You know, it it um, Lord Lord Infamous always lived life on the edge, so it didn't necessarily surprise people in the circle, but you know, everybody was like super, super hurt. Like it killed us, you know, it killed us. It took away from the whole group when he passed away because the whole group was formed because of him, you know, and for him, the Mafia Six. The Mafia Six. Oh, yeah. so, that was, so it was based around him? Yeah. But why is that? Well, what it was, was um, we was going to get back together and uh, do the Paul and Lord Infamous Come With Me To Hell uh, series. And I've been bringing those out. I brought one of them out, Underground, the original songs. Mm-hmm. I brought that out last year, I guess. But we was going to uh, get together and make a brand new one. So uh, one day I fired around on Twitter about 4 in the morning. I was like, I'm thinking about getting the group back together. I woke up the next day, man, it was a thousand and thousands of replies. Like, yes, please, 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 please. And I'm like, look, I was just bullshit. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Lord Elfman was like, he was like, I want to do that. And I was like, you want to do what? He was like, I want to put the whole group back together. And I was like, man, I was like, <laughs> I was like, that's going to be too crazy. I said, I said, oh, we need to do me and your tape. I said, but which one? I said, I'm down with it. I said, which one would you want to do first? Me and your tape or the group tape? He said, I want to do the group tape first. I was like, you're going to make less money. You know, it's going to be like five, six niggas versus two. They're like, I don't care. I want to do the whole group. And I was like, all right. So uh, we got everybody on the phone and we put the group back together. And then um, we brought out the mixtape and he died a month later. And I was like, you left me with these motherfuckers. (laughs) But no, it was was cool though. It was like that was his last thing on earth, his last mission to accomplish. And then he got a Where's the Bud. We did Where's the Bud video, which was his first hit from like 1990, 19, yeah, like 1990, 91. Yeah. So we made Where's the Bud. It got like 10 or 11 million views on World Star, whatever, and everybody loved that video. And then we brought the mixtape. The mixtape did good. We did one concert, two concerts. And then uh, he uh, passed away. And it was just his final mission in, in, in life. So. Yeah. Um, so he was good. He died happy. You know, the last time I talked to him on the phone, he was super happy. He's like, Paul, he's like, we got this many views on Where's the Bud? I'm like, of course, man. I'm like, it's a classic. This and that. So, uh, that's what's up. Yeah, he was happy. He was excited. So, so that's, what, that's what that was about. It was, a, it was supposed to be like a one-off project that ended up doing good. And we did three tours last year. And shit, we started another uh, set of tours this year. told Trina, I think, on Twitter that you'll suck a fart out of her butt. I've told Trina that in person. In person. I've told Trina that on The Breakfast Club. I've told her that just when I, you see her hanging out in Miami, you know, me, me, her, and Lala might be in Miami, like, I want to suck a fart out your butt, Trina. Like, that, Trina is the hood, hood niggas dream. I can't speak for every black person, but generally, we don't fuck with Beck, just like we don't fuck with Eminem. You fuck with Eminem? King of hip hop. <laughs> 